Hello, families of CNUSD students. I am going to show you how to navigate Google Suites or Google Classroom through um, my CNUSD. So what we need to do is first open your internet browser. In the search box, type in my.cnusd.k12.ca.us and mine's already there, the first one. Your username is going to be your child's lunch number. Their password is going to be their uh, first initial. Their name is capital. So if it's John Smith, it's going to be J, lowercase s, and his date of birth. If it's January 2nd, 2010, it would be 122010. You're going to sign in. It is going to bring you up to the My USD page. So this is what I am referring to when I say sign in via your My USD page. I am going to refer to this um, under the apps button. There's a purple dot. I'm going to refer to the purple dot often. That is where you're going to find a bunch of resources. So if you click on the purple dot, you're going to see all these resources that the kids can use. I'm going to go over Google Suite right now and I am going to touch base over a few of the other ones after. So click on Google Suites. Here's the issue that many of us are having. I'm already signed in so it went straight to me. If you see this orange K up here, this is because my daughter Kylie is signed in. Okay, click on that. Make sure that it says your child's first and last name and that you see their lunch number at students.cnusd.k12.ca.us. If it is, does not say that, you are going to have an issue typing in your Google Classroom code. Okay, so if you already have a, a Gmail account, it's most likely going to automatically send you into your Gmail account first before you um, before your child so if you need to you're going to go to this add another account you're going to use their email address as their cnusd so like i said it's their lunch number at students.cnusd.k12.ca.us and you would click next um, then it would go to the password and that's going to be the same password that they use to sign on to any device at school Okay, so now you're signed in correctly. To the left of the orange K is this waffle. That's going to bring up some other uh, tools that you can use via uh, Google Classroom. Okay, so there's, that's where you find some of that stuff. I am going to go into um, Mrs. Gutierrez's fifth grade. So that's where my students will find their stuff. You're going to go to classwork. Here, there are different topics. Okay, so for different grade or different subjects, I've created different topics. So the topics would be the headings. I am going to go over uh, a math assignment just very quickly um, so I can model to my students how they need to submit an assignment. So you're going to open the assignment you want. You are going to have a piece of paper and pencil and you can work out all your work on the side while you are looking at the screen. You're going to click this number one, assigned work. You're going to start the assignment. Now you are going to take your time doing this, but I am just going to go through very quickly. There we go. This part is the part that's gonna take me a quick second, but I do want to show you, so that way all my students understand all they are doing is selecting the answer after they do their work. And they're gonna go to the very end to make sure that they answered all the questions. And at the very end, it is going to tell you your score automatically. So what I like about it is you will be able to see how well you did. So I'm going to skip 23 for now just so I can show you something. So I'm going to go to next. I'm going to make sure that I answered all of them. 
Oh, it looks like 23 I did not answer. So you can view the question and submit the right answer or submit in an answer. Okay, I now have answered all of them. I'm going to submit the test. It is going to show me that I got six out of 24. It is going to tell you what you need to practice. So that is something that is good for you. It's going to show you some things that you are good at. Okay, and you can go back and view the question and say, oh, well, B isn't the right answer. Oh, I see my mistake. It's probably A. Okay, you're, you can't resubmit it, but it is just good for you to go back and see what mistakes you made. Okay, so now I'm done with that. So I'm going to go to the top um, tab at the very right, and I'm going to click out of that. I'm going to see that this is now graded. Okay, I am going to go over a history one. Okay, shots heard around the world. I'm going to click on view assessment or assignment. Um, I am going to, oh, she already, and submit. So I already submitted this. So you're gonna go to add or create. You're going to create a new document, this blue button over here, doc. Okay, it's going to open a blank Word document for you once you go on to that. Now what I'm going to do is go back to the information that says shots heard around the world. What I'm going to do is hold down my cursor and I'm going to copy this information. Okay, I'm going to copy. Now I'm gonna go back to the third tab, the blank document, I'm going to paste it. So I'm gonna hold down my cursor and I'm going to type the word paste. Okay, and all of that information is there. So now I can go back and actually write in here, oops, capital S, some of the events and so on, okay? You can go through and delete it and clean it up if you want, but I'm not going to waste the time to do that. Now I am going to pretend that we are done. So pretend I answer all these questions. I'm going to turn it in. It will sync. Um, I already have a few of those open, so I'm just gonna turn them all in so you can see. And it is done, submitted for the teacher to review. So again, you can close out on this very top box. Okay, the good thing about Google Docs is it will save it. So all, you don't need to press the word save or anything. Automatically, it will save it for you. So that is something how, or that's an assignment where you can kind of copy and uh, create a Google Doc. Not all of them are going to allow you to do that, but um, some of the activities will. All right, so that's that. Um, under benchmark, I'm gonna go and show you benchmark right now, okay? So underneath benchmark right here, you see cursive and benchmark spelling. Um, we're also going to be uploading some other assignments, but you're going to have to come back to the purple dot. So you're going to transfer over to the new tab. You're gonna click your purple dot. You're gonna go to the second one that says benchmark universe. Oops, okay, tap benchmark universe here my daughter does not is not connected to the fifth grade stuff so it's going to be hard for me to show you but over here where it says assignments that's where you're going to click and we you will see your assignments that i have posted for you um also you can go to dashboard mm -hmm. so why is it not working Oh, here we go. So we go to dashboard, let's see. My library, oh, there we go, my library, sorry. So you wanna mark down to benchmark advance. If you go to fifth grade, grade five, you're going to see all these resources for fifth grade. Okay, these are all the units we have worked on. What I want to show you is the leveled text. Under here are leveled text. And anything that sparks your child's interest, you can click on it. So let's say that they are very interested in... Let's find something. Cells. Okay, so you can open this. I just want to show you how to flip through it. You're going to press no. You, if you press this play button, it will Biology. be back to you. Cells. So you can flip through and you can have um, the computer read the whole text to you. You can have your child read the text. If you see here in the right hand corner, I'm just clicking it once that the page opens. Then I click it again to turn it. OK, 
Okay, so that's all of these are resources your child can use. Anything that they find of interest to them, please let them read. What I want to show you too is down below here. Let's just click on. Oh, it makes it a little bit easier. This um, Reader's Theater, okay? This is something that a lot of our kids like. We don't always have enough time to do it, but maybe if your whole family would like to start acting out and have some fun, you can go here. It will tell you the characters, and then you read through as a family and act out this little skit. You can make props. Okay, this is something that you guys can do as a family. And again, it will read the text to you. you so you can listen to it and kind of practice through that. So that is through um, Benchmark. Those are some other activities you can do through Benchmark. Let's go over iReady. Okay, to access iReady you and iStation, oops, you need to have... Um, the app already downloaded on your computer. So if you see here, I have iStation and iReady already on my tablet. So once I click iReady, it will ask me to open it on the app. Open, and then it will send me to Choose my a subject. daughter's account, and you can click on that. Same thing for iStation. And um, my class, I have underneath Clever, okay? I have some little tabs here that you can also uh, work on. This is my daughter's, so it's a little bit different than what my students will look like. But here you can find some other resources that I have been putting up for you guys. If I tell you to go through Clever, that's how you go through that. And Khan Academy, you guys can set up your Khan Academy as well. I already set this up for my daughter, but um, it will send you to a like a home page, and you will click what you want help with. There's math, reading, writing, coding, computers, um, and then from here they'll be able to do the lessons. And Khan Academy will um, it can show you your progress, shows you the courses that you have um, signed up for. So that's another good resource and there's a lot of math and grammar skills that um, your child may need help with. So other than that, I think that was all that I wanted to show you for now. I know this video is really long. I hope that it is um, helpful for you. Thank you and have a great day.